I don't have any music, so. Alright, so here's the ring. I designed it in Fusion 360. Trying to open the sketch so you can see what I started with. So that's the the design, and I just used a circle pattern. I'm gonna step back and start at the beginning here. So first, I just made circle shape. Then I shelled it out, picked the outside shell and then the diameter that I wanted, or the thickness that I wanted the ring. Then I split it. So there's kind of how it is, and then I just copied that pattern all the way around, did some measuring. To try to get everything spaced evenly. So let's take some views of them. So here's one of the first ones I printed it on my Lulzbot TAS 5. Oh, let me grab that again. So this one is a little thicker of a ring. It printed out better than on the printer, but it was a little too thick for my fingers. It fit good, but it just didn't feel very comfortable. So here's uh, the next version. So it was a little thinner. Printed in ABS. But the size is so small, it was hard to get a really good print on the printer, but that was good enough for a while to wear until my Shapeways one came. This is printed from Shapeways in their nylon and then they just dye it to the color you pick so it's dyed black. Somewhat flexible although I don't want to squeeze it and break it. And then here's the one I had printed in matte stainless steel I believe. Black. This one came out pretty good. Been wearing it for a few weeks now. You can kind of see the bronze starting to show through from just being rubbed. But otherwise it's metal. Makes a nice metal sound. There's it on my finger. Real comfortable. And well, it's my own design. So here's a Shapeway site. When you upload a design, you kind of move it around, look at it, see if it came out good. And then they show you all the different ways you can get it printed and the costs. Something this small, the Shapeways pricing is pretty good. Since I spend a lot more time trying to get a good print that small at home. So I had something to wear for a while. So matte black steel, that's what I printed it. And then when you click the name, you kind of get it sent to the information page about the material. They give you the guidelines here at Shapeways on how to design it. Also, when you upload the file, it'll tell you if it's good for that format or not. I think I had to make it a tad thicker walls so it would print good. But they kind of just go through all the materials, which is kind of nice to know. And also, farther down from the bottom, they tell you how it's 3D printed, the method they use. So I thought that was pretty interesting.